Hey, ladies and gents, going to be talking about Canva today and how to create eBooks. And let me just say, this is so incredibly cool and easy. All I want to know is, can I get some Canva stock? This is one of those companies where you go, why didn't I think of this? Anyway, so you're going to log into Canva. And if you don't have an account, you're going to want to create one. And then you're going to come over here to the more tab. And scroll down to where it says blogging and ebooks and then ebook. As soon as the page loads, you will see some templates for your title. Let's pretend you're sending out a monthly newsletter and you decide to turn that into an ebook. So let's choose this cover right here that says September. And then you can click it and then change it to October. You can also change the font color, the font size, and the font face. You can also double click the image and choose what part of the image you want to show. So let's slide this to the left and then click the check down here. And now we have a new view. This template also highlights chapters in the book. So if you want four highlights instead of three, you can just click this, come over here to this arrow, click copy, move this up. You can align it change it to whatever number you need to change it to. And you can also do the same thing for the descriptions. And just like the title and text up here, you can change the font size, color, and everything like that. Really simple. So this is your cover. Now let's create the content for the book. So we're gonna come down here to add new page. Now let's add our heading. So we're gonna come over here to the text tab and click add heading. And we'll just type heading one. And then we can move this up here like this. And we can come back over here to add a little bit of body text. And let's pretend we've typed some text and then just move this up wherever we want. Now let's create a container for our text. When you put your cursor in this search box, you get these categories. So let's click shapes. And I'm looking for a shape with an empty fill or no fill. So let's choose this one. So now we can stretch this just like that. Now we can go back to the text category, click add a little bit of body, and then this is where we would put our text for the container. So this is your template for every page of the book. Now all you do is come over here and click copy this page, and now you have another page, easy. Next, let's say you wanna do an about me page for your book. Here's a neat trick. Let's type technology into the search box. And I'm looking for an iPad. Here we go. So it says drag a photo in here or upload your own. So I'm gonna go over to my uploads over here on the left. Let's grab her and pretend this is a picture of myself. When you drag it slightly, it'll automatically fill the frame of the iPad. And now you can resize this entire picture. Just like that and then move it around. Now, let's say you wanna to link to your YouTube channel, for example, on this page. You can come up here to the search and type YouTube, and here's a YouTube icon here. Let's just resize this a bit here and drag it. Oh, that's too big. Now, this layout isn't necessarily what you do. I'm just trying to show you what's possible. So then you come up here to this little down arrow and click link. And so this is where you would type in the link to your YouTube channel. So this will be a clickable link on your PDF. And you can do the same thing with Twitter, Facebook. They have icons for all the major social media sites. Now let's pretend you're all finished with your ebook. You're just going to come up here to download. And you can choose the format for your book. So let's just do PDF standard. And it's going to save my design right into a PDF file. And here's my PDF. So now I can take this PDF file, upload it to the media section of WordPress, and then grab that link. And that's the link I would give my visitors to read the PDF. It's really that easy, guys. Talk to you later.